Hello and welcome to today's science experiment. Traction Man and Scrubbing Brush want to catch a shark. And to do this, they decided they would make a fishing rod. To make their fishing rod, they used a magnet and they used a length of string. They tied their magnet to the string to make a magnetic fishing rod, just like this. Ta-da! Traction Man and Scrubbing Brush have arrived at the pond. Traction Man can't wait to try out his new magnetic fishing rod. It's made from a piece of string and a magnet. They want to try and catch the sharks, but unfortunately, the only thing they're catching are the goldfish. Can you work out why Traction Man and Scrubbing Brush are only catching goldfish and why they're not catching sharks? And why they're not catching jellyfish. Hmm. Why is that happening? Pause the video now so that you can make a prediction. When you're ready to find out the answer, press play. Well, it's because the goldfish have got a paperclip on them. The paperclip is magnetic. So as the magnet is lowered into the pond, the magnet attracts the metal that is magnetic and then it sticks to the bottom of the fishing rod and can be lifted out. The sharks and the jellyfish haven't got any metal on that's magnetic and therefore don't stick to the magnet. They're not attracted to the magnet. Don't go too close to the edge scrubbing brush. Oh no, scrubbing brush has fallen into the depths of the shark infested pond. How can Traction Man rescue him with his magnet fishing rod? Write down your suggestions in your book or even drop me an email to let me know what would be a way that Traction Man could use his magnetic fishing rod to rescue poor scrubbing brush. Why not have a go at finding out which other metals around your house are magnetic? You could use Traction Man's magnetic fishing rod to test them. Just put it close to the metal and see if it's attracted to the magnet. Remember, Traction Man's magnetic fishing rod was just made with a magnet from the fridge and some string. You could also have a go at making your own fishing game. You could draw different sea creatures, attach them to a paper clip and put them in a bowl to represent the sea or a pond. Then, with your fishing rod, you could have a go at how quickly you could remove all of the fish and see which player can remove all of the fish most fast. You could also make a game where the different sea creatures are different points. You could blindfold somebody and ask them to fish out the creatures. So if they picked up a goldfish, that could be worth five points. If they picked out a shark, that could be worth one point. If they picked out a jellyfish, that might be minus three points. Have a go. Explore. What magnetic games can you make? Good luck, scientists.